Hey guys, you ready to let the dogs out? It's time! It's Crash and Burn Show. What's up? Welcome in. Hey, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. My name is uh, Josh, just Josh now. I got a nickname finally. Took me 33 years, but somebody gave me a nickname, and I'm getting t-shirts made. (laughs) I have uh, a guest tonight. It's kind of interesting. The guest is actually the host. The the guest is uh, kind enough to host the show in his uh, uh, laboratory studios right here in uh, Newark, Delaware. My guest, his name is, is it PC or PC Beats? Would PC Beats. PC Beats. Yes. Now, if you are, uh, if you're from the Newark area, I'd say, and, and, and have done the music, I feel like everybody has a band or everybody has a, was a rapper at some point mm-hmm. in my lifetime. I'm sure a lot of people in this area have done business with you, right? They're familiar with. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, I, I would say so. I would say so. So. Uh, it's interesting. I know you uh, in a in a different way. Like I don't know you through the yeah you know, through your, the music, through, right? Through the music. So, and I've known you for a while now. Yeah. I would say uh, a couple of years, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, for about six years now. And we we don't know anything about each other other than. We're both creative guys. I've rented studio space from you in the past, yep. trying to chase my dream and stuff. Yeah. But I, I see that, you know, you're on a similar path yeah. to me. You know, you're out here chasing dreams yeah. and shit. And I, I don't know you outside of that, but I feel connected to you. I right. want to see you fucking make it. You Thank know? you, bro. I appreciate that. For real. And you just got some big news uh, recently, right? I yeah. don't know how recent it was. Very recent. Um uh, I say last month, uh, it was what, two months ago, two months ago, we found out, <clears throat> um, you want me to say it or you want to say it? Well, me? Yeah. Do, do I want to say it? Yeah. I feel like you've worked your whole damn life off to be like, to be able to say it. <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? Like, I didn't want to take it from you. I want you to fucking announce it. Like, yeah. So throw some shit if you want so, to burn this. So recently I would say about two months ago. Um, a record that I produced f- for someone, <laughs> no, four records that I produced for someone went platinum on Apple. And um, I mean, yeah, that's an amazing this thing. This is what I want to do. When, when, when I heard that, I wanted to hug you. I don't fucking know you <laughs> outside of, you know, just, I want to hug you. Yeah. I'm so pumped yeah. for you, man. Just so you can be able to say that. Yeah, is, man. You can hang it up on the wall. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm proud of you, man. That's, Thank you, man. That's, and this has been a. You said how long in the making? I mean, I've made I've been making beats for about 18 years now, like literally 18 years, and that's half my life. How, how does this start? How, how does the the beat making journey begin oh, for man. PC Beats? It starts back in PA. I was with my best friend Sadat at the time. We were in uh, high school. We were in high school. I was like 16. And um, my dad, <clears throat> at the time, he uh, he was managing an artist named Hollywood Playboy. And basically, I saw how much respect he was getting around our neighborhood and just kind of like, I looked up to it. Who was know? getting the respect? Your dad the, or the, the artist? artist? And, the artist and my dad. Right. And... um. When he was managing them, I just seen how Hollywood was moving around. He was meeting so many people, celebrities, and rapping for Jay Z. I remember he was in a room with Swiss Beats at one point in Timberland, and I was just like blown away because I'm watching these people on TV, admiring from a distance as yeah. a kid. So I'm just like, man, this is crazy, you know? He's really like in the room with this guy that I just saw on TV. So, and how old you said? 16? 16. 16. Man. So me, me and Sadat, we started a group <laughs> called RSB. And uh, what's RSB? It's rap songs and beats. Come on, man, That's that was beautiful. terrible. <laughs> That's a terrible name. Hey, listen, man. It probably felt really good at the time, though. Oh, it, only, it only feels terrible in hindsight, right? Yeah, at the yeah, time, of course. you were hype about that. Man. Of course, man. 
we we used to uh I remember when we first started like we used to record we were so eager to record each other that he didn't have a car I didn't have a car so he would be at his house on the phone and I would I figured out that you can record if you um plug in a, a headphone set into the microphone jack of a computer the left side of that headphone jack becomes a microphone. Uh. And I was like, damn, I can record right now. So I'm like, look, I don't want to rap. I'll make the beats. You, you rap. So he would rap over the phone into the left side of a headphone jack. And we would literally make songs. <laughs> so, so you made like a, you made a, a studio essentially like you were yeah. able to record. So my stepfather, he bought a, uh, uh, some computer or something like that. And he, I just noticed he would always buy stuff around the house and he would never use it. But I, I was like, look, I want to use that. Yeah. So I, I downloaded this uh, program called uh, Magic's Music Maker 7. And I downloaded that with a little bit of sounds and just kind of put the songs together over the phone, man. It was so crazy. And that's all self-taught, right? I mean, that's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't go to school for this. School wasn't really a thing that I liked too much. Not to mention, like, how it probably wasn't even a thing. Yeah, for, well. Like, making beats at that time. What yeah, mean? like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, <clears throat> this new generation, man, they they are, uh, they're spoiled, man. Because we didn't have YouTube. We kind of had to just figure it out. <laughs> if you didn't read that manual, <coughs> you had to figure it out. This This mixer. I see this and I'm like, had I gotten this 10 years ago, I'd be the fucking hottest thing in the world. Mm. The, the way that we used to have to do the, this radio show, it's like, because we were in garages and shit too, you know? Yeah. So like, I get what you're saying. This generation's spoiled. There's no reason why everybody can't make it at this point, right? right. I mean. Right. It's so easy for everybody. I mean, within reason. I, I'm not, Yeah. When it comes to being productive with what you, with what you want to do, it's so much easier. <laughs> you have to have the fire. But you know to what? Like the gen- do what the generation right. before us could say the same thing about sure. us. Yeah, because they didn't have the computers. Yeah, they had to do the whole song from beginning to finish without messing up. Yeah, and if they didn't, if they messed up that part, they had to run that whole tape back and re-record the song. So, did you follow like the the sort of the history of the business that you're in? Do you know anything about that, or is it no, no? No. That's interesting to me. I just kind of took a leap. You know, my dad is an entrepreneur, too. So I always felt like it was in my blood to be this. Do you have a relationship with music that's like, <sighs> like, what is that like? <laughs> music is my everything, bro. Working on music is, <coughs> excuse me, I mean, is okay. it is it like when you get in the car? Mm-hmm. Are, are, are you, what are you listening to? Like, is it. What, like right now? Well, just in general, like what's, what's your relationship with music? Like outside of just working on it, um, you know? It's so on and off sometimes now because I've been doing it for so long. Honestly, sometimes I just want to ride in silence. Yeah. <laughs> and I know like people that ride with me probably think I'm a boring person, but it's not that. It's just that when you hear music, 24 7 you just get tired of hearing it after a while and you need a break mentally man because it's all a mental thing yeah it really is it's like it's all mental but what i'm listening to right now i'm listening to a lot of larry june a lot of alchemist uh old school isaac hayes like i just slept with some isaac hayes uh, a little bit earlier today um do you venture into like country or rock or anything with music? Do you- I have one <laughs> country record that I like. Okay, who is it? It's called Do Me Wrong or Do Me Yeah, Do Me Wrong by I don't know his name. I don't remember his name right now. I can't remember his name, but I, I, I'll look it up. No, I'll don't look, look it, up. it up right now. It's not that important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll look I'm it up just later. Curious, because because as a guy that's making, you're, I don't understand the the beat making thing mm-hmm. completely, but I kind of have an idea. What the way I think it works, and correct me if I'm wrong, is like I have a song that mm-hmm. I want to do, mm-hmm. 
and you just uh, either what would I freestyle it to you? Would I show you my lyrics? Would you come up with a beat out of like nothing? I know this is such a basic. There's so question. many ways. I'm sorry no, 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 no. <laughs> you good? So there's so many ways to approach it, man. Right? Because I've done I've done songs where people had the lyrics first, and then I would have to create based off a snap of their finger. Right. And then I would go from that and then just create whatever I can from there. I've actually created one of my artist projects, Yikes Lee, uh, Retro, was created off of his his imagination and what he wanted. So, you know, I had a lot of fun with that. But there was also, then there's another way you can do music where I have a beat and then the person comes in, they listen to the music right, right. and they vibe with the music and then they make a song off of that. What's harder for you to do? <laughs> like in your free time, is it like coloring? Like as a kid, you'd take out the coloring book. Do you sit in front of the computer and you'll just like, you hear something in your head and you yeah. just start tapping it out? Or Sometimes I don't even hear anything in my head. Sometimes yeah. I'll just sit at the, the, the computer with a blank mind and just go. And the next thing you know, here comes a beat. <laughs> yeah. It's, Do you, you know, smoke weed? Do you drink? Do you I used to smoke. I used to smoke weed uh, back in the day. I ain't going to say back in the day like I'm old. old. <laughs> uh, I used to smoke weed heavy. Did it help with your process of putting stuff together? No. No? Did Not it slow really. you down? Now, I ain't going to say it slowed me down. It helped me think differently when it comes to music. Yeah. Because music and weed is like a crazy relationship. Uh, it does make me think differently, but I feel like at one point when I was smoking, I had to rely on it. It got to the point where I was relying on the weed to become creative. And I'm like, I'm like, nah, that's not me. That's not me because I started this before I smoked weed. Yeah. So why do I need weed to be creative? And once I got to that point, that's when I knew I'll never smoke weed again. Hmm. And that was it. I like that. I, I feel that, man, I, because I, I'm not making music, but I'm, you know, <clears throat> I'm making a different kind of music sometimes, you know, okay. whether, whether it's writing or I'm trying to do this thing. Yeah. And weed definitely helps, man, because, it, it, you know, you hit like a little bit of a writer's block, mm-hmm. but I get that. Sometimes I'll hit writer's block, I'll get the writer's block, and I'm like, it's the weed. I need the weed to... Yeah. Get this shit out. I get it. So I, I respect that you're able to see that and say, fuck that weed. Yeah, <laughs> bro. It, took me, it took me a while. Like, cause I was smoking weed a lot. Yeah. Like every day, multiple times a day. And then I'm like, I I don't know. It made me paranoid too. And I didn't like that. I don't like being paranoid and all up strung up like, oh, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? Yeah. I don't like that feeling. So it's kind of fun. It's a little fun at first. And then it becomes like it's every time you smoke. It's yeah. Like, right, give I'm it a good. rest. I'm good on it. <laughs> I'm good on it. All right. So 16-year-old uh, PC Beats. Yeah. He, he sees, what was the guy's name? Hollywood Playboy? So, yeah. Hollywood Playboy. Yeah. That's my dad. That was my dad's artist at the time. And and you. so what stood out to you most about him? Was it because a guy with that type, I don't know, but, but that type of name, um, something's telling me he's shaking hands and fucking... Kissing babies, you know, like he's, he's a showman. <laughs> yeah, so he was a he was well respected around Philly, man. He was well respected. Uh, he he just it would be to the point where I would be sitting there in a car with him, listening to his music on a CD, and then we would turn off the CD player, and then here comes Power ninety nine, which is our biggest radio hip hop and R&B radio station playing a song that he played to me before they played it. Yeah. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah. It was blown. It was, it was blowing me away. So I was like, man, I gotta, I, I want to know what this feels like. I want my song on the radio. I want it. So that was the goal at that time. Yeah. If you came to get a song on the radio, yeah. how long did it take after to get on the radio? I'm sure it happened the next day, right? <laughs> I wish. Uh, I'm going to say about six years later. Damn, man. You know how many people quit within that six years? Yeah. Like that alone. The fact that you stuck it out for six years, and I'm sure you got shut down a lot, you know? You no. Know, uh, what kept me going, honestly, man, was the school. 
the school. School really kept me going. Like, I ain't gonna lie, when I started making beats, I had just moved to Delaware and everybody, you know, they didn't know me. So as soon as I come in on the scene, I'm a beat maker. So that makes me separated from everybody else in the school. I didn't know that many people that made beats. Everybody wanted to be the star in rap. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. I was the one that made the beat. So everybody knows me as the kid that was drumming on the table at the lunch in the lunchroom. And, you know, it what, made me popular. I loved it. What led to the, what, why, why'd you move to Delaware? What, so uh, was that high school age? Yeah. High school. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, 16, I guess, right? You said. Yeah. Okay. What, what led me to Delaware was my mom met my stepfather and, um, we, he just, he, my mom wanted to be in the middle because her family, a lot of her family, her side of the family is from Maryland. Okay. And then my other side of the family is from Philly. Okay. So it wasn't like a, I got you. It, yeah. it was a, all right. We just wanted to be in the middle. Okay. That makes sense. And, and you moved from Philly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of a kick in the nuts for a guy that has like a Philly is, is, the reason I ask that is where the dream would die a lot of times too, because you're, you're automatically removed from like what I, Philly is like a, it's a pool of the city, you know, and you're moving to Delaware, <laughs> you know, it's a little different. Believe it or not. I loved it. I love it here. Uh, yeah, sure. People from Delaware hate Delaware. I, I love Delaware. It's chill here. I don't have to worry about it's, it's things that I was worrying about back in PA that I don't have to worry about here. Like what? What would be something? <sighs> hate, hate. Yeah. Like super hate. Yeah. People robbing people, stuff like that. Just dealing with the dumb shit <laughs> that comes from being in the city. So it's good. It, it was a good move for you. Though. Oh yeah. It was a, it was a new, it was, it was like starting a, a, a brand new life, man. You know, people that were in Philly, they grew up watching me be who I am. So they have a, they have their, in their mind, you know, whatever they interpret me to be. So they don't respect it as much. Right. But when you move to a new area and don't, and nobody knows who you are, your past, no nothing. They got to respect you if you bring in something to the table like that. Like, yeah. oh yeah, I make beats, you know? So... It's cool. I loved it. I loved the move. So at, at <coughs> 16, you meet the guy that inspired you to want to do this. Mm -hmm. Not long after you're moving, switching schools, changing your life up, you're in Delaware now. Mm -hmm. um, still chasing the dream. When did it, when did it become like um, a reality, like a, like a, a realistic thing that, that uh, an achievable thing Did do you ever get that sense of like, Oh, I can, I can, I can do this or. Mm, yeah. It became, it became that like towards the end of school. Can I, can I j just say, so like, sure. obviously you had the drive to like, you knew you could do it, mm -hmm. but some of that is like a little crazy. You got to be a little crazy to chase a dream, a, a dream <laughs> right? So like if, yeah, it, you know, like you told me you're sleeping here it, mm -hmm. it, on a project, you've slept here for how long? Up to six months. Up to six months. That's fucking crazy. You know? And if yeah. this thing doesn't work out, they're like, man, PC beats is a fucking lunatic, you know? Yeah. So it, it's a little crazy Yeah. to, to chase this thing. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I love it that much. Yeah. I don't really see myself doing nothing else out of this, outside of what I'm doing. That's all I got. So I'm going to do it. And that's why this, this going platinum is such a nice, like it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cookie, man. It's like Pac-Man gets his little wah, wah, wah thing. A, it's, you know? a, it's, it's a, it's a grandma's turkey dinner mm -hmm. on a Thanksgiving day. It feels damn good. I ain't gonna lie. It does, man. Good. What, when really you does. got that call, um, is, is it the first time you've gone platinum? I should ask that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because in my head, it's like a huge deal. And it, it is. I, yeah, I hope it's so. It's a huge deal, okay. bro. Like, going platinum is a lot of people that does music 
dream. Like that's their dream. They want to go platinum. Yeah. And yeah, cause uh, yeah, I've been through a lot to get here. How many? Uh, so just going platinum alone is like fucking amazing. But mm-hmm. you sent me a list of people that you've worked with. Yeah. Earlier today, and yeah. again, without me really knowing you outside of how we know each other, mm-hmm. it it blew me away. You know that that so when you get the call to work with say uh, Missy Elliott, mm. <laughs> what what happens there? Does she call you? Do does your oh, heart man. stop immediately? Is yeah. It- so what happened with that whole situation was, I had met this producer on Twitter, and we kind of vibed like we were talking in a music group on Twitter, <clears throat> and we kind of vibed. And I was just like, yo, bro, I got a plate. Look, I got a studio. You you more than welcome to come here if you want. He's all the way in Texas somewhere. Yeah. He's in Houston, Texas. So he agrees to come out here. Next thing you know, me and him just start making crazy music together. The vibe, the music vibe was retarded. Like everybody and their mom wanted to be in here at all times. They were here at all times. And... It was just nonstop production. So what happened was we did that for about six months. We were building up tracks to present to the labels before we did it, before we actually met the labels. So we we spent about six months building records, producing, uh, recording, artist, uh, just working hard and we scored a couple of movies and stuff Damn, and things were just moving. Then it got to the point where my dad, you know, cause he, like I said, he used to manage an artist. He doesn't manage him anymore. He's kind of like my manager now. He's kind of doing for me what he used to do for Hollywood playboy back in the day, Damn, man. It's full circle, baby. So it's full circle. So what happened was is my dad happened to go out to a club because and then he, he got a house in Atlanta. And he went uh, and he went out to a club. He met. He ended up meeting Missy Elliott's cousin, but Missy Elliott was sitting like a few feet away from him. So what happened was, is because my dad knows the bouncer to that club, the bouncer got my dad into the VIP room of that club, and he introduced my dad to Missy's cousin. He basically tells him the. To get up, yo, I got a, you know, I got my son. He's back up top. He, he does great music, and I'm not saying that because I'm his dad. I'm just telling you, he does great music. So what happened was, his name is Corte Ellis. I, I, I say the name. Corte meets my father. He says, "All right, let's schedule a session." but we're going to have to do it in Atlanta. So I'm like, damn. All right, well, we making money right now. So look, G, you put some money on the table. I'll put some money on the table. We're going to fly down to Atlanta and literally meet with this guy. So we did it. And we did it within like a couple of days. Damn. And we flew down there. We got to sit in this crazy studio called Patchwork Studios. One of the biggest studios in Atlanta. Literally the biggest studio in Atlanta, actually. And What's it called? Patchwork Studios. Patchwork Studios. And and I'm telling you, by the name of Drake, the name of you name it, whoever you could think of has recorded there. Wow. And and that's where you went. And we went there. Come on, man. And the thing is, is we were supposed to book the B room because the A room was expensive as fuck, bro. But what, we, what's a what's what throw a number at me? What, what's the A room for? Four for? hours they wanted they wanted like eleven hundred dollars. Damn. We did it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't want to miss the chance. You know what I'm saying? Dude, like you can't. You you're going, yeah. Yeah. You're here. So, Let's do it. So for four hours. Oh, wait, wait. I'm skipping something. We booked the room. We couldn't even afford the ticket because the room was so much. So I had to drive all of my equipment into my car and we drove down there. It was me, the other producer G, and Yikes. And we all carried the equipment downstairs to the car. We took it to my dad's house. We set up shop there and we were just preparing, ready. And when we went in there, we had to play him four hours of stuff. And he was blown away. Damn, really? He was blown away. What is that like? What, so is, is 
I'm fascinated by like the big moment guys, <laughs> you know, the Michael Jordan type personality yeah. where it's like, I don't care what the fuck's happening. I'm making yeah. a shot. You know, I'm here. Yeah. What, what, what is that like for you? Are do you, what you mean? Like, are you shitting your pants at all? No, or, no, no. The reason why I'm not scared is because I've been preparing for this for so long. Yeah. I've been doing this for 14 years, like 15 years, like, and like years really of preparation. Doing it, right? Like it's, yeah, it's real, like studying real. for the test. You know you're gonna pass once you get there. Yeah, that's what it feels like for me. It used to be, oh man, I'm scared. Now I'll tell you a time I was scared. <laughs> I was scared when I went to Texas and I had to battle all those producers. What does that look like? <sighs> How do you battle producers? So what happens is they'll get like you know I'll just make up a scenario. Let's say we got Jalo Beats against PC Beats. And what happens is they put you two on a stage <clears throat> and they'll give you about a minute and 30 seconds around and you got to play a beat. So Jalil plays his beats for one minute, and 30 seconds. The crowd reacts. Once the beat goes off that one thirty, PC, play your beat. One minute, and 30 seconds. Whoever's beat is better wins the round. Okay. I'm telling you, it's, it's lit, bro. It's, it's, it's crazy. And how'd you do? I won every battle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've won every battle that I've ever went in. So I'm going to be humble about it, though. Do you do you honestly? Uh, the fact that that doesn't that weigh on you. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> it's really amazing because I, I I make three foul shots in the driveway playing basketball with my kid and I can't make a fourth one. You know, mm. like I, I made three and I'm like, oh, fuck, I made three, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I'll always miss the fourth one. Yeah. But the fact that you've never lost a. I know. A battle. It's crazy. It's a crazy scene. <laughs> Not going to lie. It's just. It's fun. Like, it's fun watching it, man, because because you don't have to worry about lyrics or somebody offending somebody. Right. You know, it's not like a rap battle. It's just music. Who doesn't understand what they hear? I mean, you can you can misunderstand what you hear, but you can like, oh, this one made me feel better than that, than this one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. You got to see it, bro. Dude, is this something you still currently do? Do you do battles? <sighs> I would. I would for the publicity, but it, it has to be somebody credible, man. I'm not doing just some random battle anymore. Like, you like pro wrestling? I'm done with that. Did you ever? I did when I was young. Who 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 do you remember? Of course, Steve Austin, Rock, <laughs> <laughs> Triple H. Listen, man, you got a camera on you right now. You can you can cut a, a 1997 Stone Cold Steve Austin promo. Call out whoever you want. Challenge them to a battle. You know, <laughs> just fucking put it on pay per view. You make a million bucks, man. Yeah, I mean. Is it that is it is is the world of um, producing is that is that what you would call it like the or is it beat making or whatever whatever that world is it active is there still <laughs> yeah yeah and you're talking like like on a stage in front of a bunch of people there's tournaments of yeah and there's money on the line oh yeah there's money on the line man. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. It was How one much time. Are we talking? Well, one time, my dad, <laughs> this guy named Honorable C Note, he's very famous. He's very famous. Okay, C Note, you know who I'm. Yeah, yeah, C Note, you you famous. Uh, he was talking crazy online one day, and my dad has said something. He was like, "Oh." I'll put up twenty five thousand dollars that my son will beat you in a battle right <laughs> now. Lie, dude. I'm not lying, bro. I got proof. <sighs> I can show y'all this. Like, now that's scary. I'm not gonna lie, that's scary. Cause if I lose that, could you imagine the amount of shame I would have to walk home with? Like, that's why I'm preparing every day. Cause if it's, if a situation comes about like that, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. A wise man once said, stay ready. So I ain't got to get ready. I ain't got to get know? ready. That's right. That's right. So 
I, I think that's, that's the connection I feel, man. I, yeah. I feel, I feel, uh, I feel like I know you so well because I know your struggle, mm -hmm. you know, like I've, I've spent some nights sleeping in places I shouldn't be fucking sleeping because <laughs> I'm working on a project. You know? I can relate to that too. And as just as a, a person that's on the fucking journey, mm -hmm. separate lanes, but same journey. Yeah. I'm like really happy for you. Thank you, you man. Know? I appreciate you. For I'm, real. I'm fucking thrilled that you, you get a, oh man, you have, you can, I want the, our radio show won the best of Delaware. We cheated to fucking do it. I had like everybody I knew fucking send emails and like just to just to have the fucking banner that says best of Delaware. Yeah. Is like, I'll fucking die. It's going on my on my tombstone. Right. I so I can't imagine, man. I'm I'm fucking thrilled for you. Thank I'm, you, so man. Even I know you're not a cocky guy. Nah. But I'd get fucking a hundred of them made and I'd hang them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the plaque cost too much. It was, it was, a, it was, yeah. They charge you for plaques. I'm sure. Just for any producers that uh that don't know. I got a, I got a note. Oh, okay. We have. Well, let's take a break. Oh yeah. Let's yeah, take yeah. a break because you have a whole team of people here. Yeah. That I I'm I want to hear about your team. You for know? sure. I want to hear I want to hear about the dynamic of uh, Laboratory Studios. Yeah. All right. Uh, so. Uh, hang here. We'll uh, we'll take a break. We'll come back. I'm um, sitting mm -hmm. with uh, PC Beats. So uh, it's a Crash and Burn show. We shall return. Forget everything you thought you knew about pizza. Now pizza has a new name, and it's Big Z Pizza. All the toppings that you love: pepperoni, mushrooms, peppers, sausage, bacon, and onion. More mushrooms than you can count. That's at least 10 mushrooms. Sawdust. Money. Play-Doh. Grass. He's the big guy in town for pizza. Big Z's Pizza. Everything you never knew you needed to know about pizza. Scratch and Burn Show. What's up? Thank you for uh, sticking it through the break. We are here from. Uh, we are here at uh, Laboratory Studios with uh, PC Beats, and uh, I'd say his left hand man at this point, right? Uh, this is Yikes is here. Yikes, I'm yeah. still, on, yikes the, I'm still on the on on the Rick Ashley right now. Hold you on. like that? I'm, cool. I really. Uh, I'm still. I'm still. <laughs> I do a little bit of producing on my own too. Oh no. Yo, that's one of the coldest dances ever. If you really, shit. if you really watch the music, <laughs> what's going on, man? Good to be here. That's crazy. That's one of my favorite. Th that. How old were you when you found out Rick Astley was white? Did you know that immediately? No, I no didn't way, know. Right? I didn't no know. Uh, I want to say I was. I want to say didn't Family Guy do? Uh, wasn't it Family Guy made? They did something, right? I want to say they did something, and they had like they showed. <clears throat> they they were doing like flashbacks, but they showed like the actual video, yeah. and that's when I was like, yeah. yeah so that was recent. That yeah, was recent. I was. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was recent. It, was, it, was recent. it wasn't fantastic. too. That was just I was like, recent Whoa. years old. Yeah, I was recent years old. That's fantastic. It, for me, Hootie was another one. When you found out that Hootie from Hootie and the Blowfish yeah. was a black guy, it was like. No shit. <laughs> yeah, that's very shit. true. So, uh, yikes. Yes, yikes, right. yikes, Lee, or yikes. What, what do you prefer? Does it yikes. matter? Just it yikes. doesn't matter. That's a yeah. fucking cool ass name, man. Thank I can't you. believe your parents named you yikes. You that's know, they cool have great shit, taste. <laughs> my, my, my parents are, you know, they're not watching this probably, but if they are, you did, you guys did great. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, you and PC uh, PC Beats, you guys uh, have known each other for a long time. Is that fair to say? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of years or so. About a decade in. Yeah, ten years. Yeah, I met him in 2013. Damn. So, yeah. How do you guys meet? <laughs> you tell him. You got to tell him. No, we'll, 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 we'll go together. We'll do this together. Uh, all right, so shouts out to B to the dot, B dot, and shouts out to Dreamstar. Uh, back when I first got started, um, 
I was running around with a, a group of guys, you know, shouts out to uh, Dreamstar, you know, all them. Star, Austin. Star made, Austin, Star Austin, made music man, group. Shout out to you. Yeah, all of them. And um, shout out, even shout out to Harley, because, you know, it was her session. Yeah. It yeah. was Shout out to Harleysha. It was Harley. Harleysha Congo. Yeah, she's a dope artist. Um, I basically came to record video for them, and I had met PC, and then I basically just never left. <laughs> yeah. It was like you guys connected immediately. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I just never left. Yeah. That's really, I mean, like, I think, did I come back the next day? Or? You came back the next I day. I came back the very next day. And man. I, I, I kind of convinced him to quit his job. Damn, in really? A sense, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. That's I hilarious. Yeah, I convinced him to quit his job. And what was he, the reason for that? <coughs> just to focus more on what you guys had going on? Yeah. Yeah, cause like when he came, when he came in the picture, I already had a business with my old business partner. Mm -hmm. Should I say it like no. that? Yeah. Oh, don't say it. That's fine. God, you know what I'm talking too. about. Yeah. All right, all right. Just say less. So with my old business partner, uh, we had a business, but we were missing a a comp we were missing something, and we needed the video guy. So one day we had uh, B to the dot come to the studio, and this guy comes in. Yo, I'm the best videographer in Delaware. Yeah, that's the first thing he said to me that's when I was young and dumb. Straight up, like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah he just came yeah. to me and was like, "I'm the best," and I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, you you the best." <laughs> okay, let me see. Yeah, and he put on this video called. Two yeah. girls, <laughs> 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 hey, yo, it's called lame, lame niggas. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, that shit was hot as fuck. And yeah, I was just 10 like, years ago too. What was this? This was a, a movie. Was it, it was a music, music video? Music video. Yeah. yeah, it was a music video that he had did with uh, Paulie De Niro and Heartboy YC. Yep, two good, two good young guys, two yeah. good rappers out here in Delaware. Shout out to y'all. Um, yeah, he showed us the. the Sorry, he man. showed me the video, and my partner was like, "Yo, that shit hot." He pulled me to the side. He was like, "Yo, B, that's hot." And I was like, "Yeah, that shit is hot." So I came back and was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, that's that's what's up, bro." Like I was acting all nonchalant and shit. So that's that. That was your first inter introduction. Yeah, yeah. So you were trying to play it like cool shit. Like, yeah, that's yeah. all right. Yeah, I was I was an asshole back then. I was kind of, like, you know. Feeling myself because I had a new business and you know, but anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, he showed me the video and it was dope. And he came back the next day, and then he told me he rapped. You want to tell him the story wow. about the first recording? <laughs> yeah. Well, so, hold on. So, like, so where were you at? It, it, it was it the video was your angle all the yeah. way. I mean, yeah, because that was for me doing bro, no, videos. Well, at at the you beginning. wanted to rap, bro. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. I always went. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to rap. That's why you was. That's why but you this, snuck back but the next the day. Thing, though, this the thing though. For me, uh, when I first started doing videos, it was exciting because it was new. I had always done music my whole life, so right. for for me to do videos was like a new. You know, it was just a new territory. It was something that was just different. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like. With the with the beat making, everybody wants to be in front of the camera. Yeah. But the guy that's like working the camera and can put this shit together. Yeah, yeah. that's different. And so, yeah. you know, I went over there, and I think I did a. Uh, I had one off this one song, and he was sleep. I don't know how this like this is a true story. He was sleep. He was really sleep, like snoring, knocked out. Had a long day of sessions. We recorded the song. We recorded the verse, and all I remember was we played it. And he just woke up like, <laughs> yo, that John whack, yo, who, yo, who, that, that, t turn that shit, that's terrible. And I'm sitting there like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I'm just sitting there like. I don't like, even know why I woke up and said that, because that's not like me to do that. I ain't know how to feel. I was just like. He was mad. Yeah, a little he bit. He was mad. So then <laughs> I said, do you have, I was like, well, you got a better beat. And that's the, that was before I knew. Right, right, right. That that was before. You know, that's it's like I was like, I definitely got a new beat. Yeah. 
So challenge accepted. Yeah. So you know that that's like uh that that's how we got started on music. Um Yeah. I think the thing with music with us that was different was uh it was a a big uh, a deal at the time for a film director to be rapping, I guess. Mm-hmm. But people didn't realize I was still a musician first. Right. Right. You okay. know what I'm saying? And so just that's how we met in that aspect. And every, yeah, every, ever since then, we've just been making music. And, you know, uh, that, that, that PTSD is still instilled in me from the first day. So if, if I don't want to rap in front of him, then it's his fault. Man. Sure. I just blame him for everything. <laughs> I get afraid. But I tell you this much: when I go to other places, you know, I'm, I don't like have no fear. So I, I love yeah. the PC beats. Well, if so, from that perspective, like it's a good thing to work with people that'll call you on your bullshit. Yeah, you know, like and and to not let you walk out the door. Yeah, with yeah, a fucking booger hanging. Yeah, you know? like, that's they're gonna very tell you. real. Yeah, so yeah, that's cool. Not everybody can. A lot of teams fall apart that way. You know, like that first day. In a, in a different universe, different, you know, metaverse, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. Yikes never went back. You know, like he, yeah. he heard that and he never he, he never went back. So it's cool he stuck it out, man. <laughs> you and know, uh, you have a lifelong time of just creating shit together. This is universe. Oh, my God. This that is led, universe 616. That moment. One, yes. That very moment led to us staying up for a month straight. We're going to talk after this. This guy knows. <laughs> he, he knows his comics. <laughs> he knows. Yeah, shit. man. That one moment though, like led to a very crazy month. We stayed up for almost a month yeah. straight. Doing what? Just putting together Working on his album. Yeah. Working yeah. on his first project. And that shit went viral in one day. Did it really? Yeah. Yes. It was it was We weird. made the newspaper. Yeah. Off that project. What's viral at that <clears> time? <throat> like I mean making the newspapers. Also, back then, yeah, back then, fifteen hundred downloads in four hours. That's fucking amazing, man. That's that's awesome. Now, if you yeah. told me somebody, and we I had, don't have fifteen oh, thousand downloads in a lifetime. Now it's seven thousand in total. Yeah, you got to get more now. Now, but back like, then, like downloads but, like like, but they downloaded the entire and, project. Yeah. It wasn't just one song. They downloaded the, the whole, whole project, and that mm-hmm. song that probably had what like fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. I don't remember retro. how many. Because retro was a movie, it was a it sounds, yeah. it sounds like a one one long song, like Tommy. That just, was from yeah. the hood, right? This is, yeah, and it, yeah, it's amazing. It's, you should listen to it one day. Like, I would love uh, to. That sounds it's good. crazy. It's like literally a movie. Every track leads to the next track, leads to another skit yeah. that leads to the next track. So it's it's all it's you. You just gotta listen to it. It's crazy. I feel like that's the thing that's missing from music. Nowadays, and it's all genres of music, yeah. like uh, the storytelling aspect. Yep. You know, n- nobody, nobody. There's no song. I shouldn't say nobody. That's lame to do that. But it seems like the shit that's on the radio right now is basic. You know, it's it just is. like it's just it's just yeah. nothing to it. There's no substance to any of the shit that's popping right now. <laughs> it's not. We were like before this interview. I was in the studio. Making beats that are popular right now, <laughs> and Pedro and Yikes just watched me make two beats in ten minutes. Yeah, literally, like nah, like literally two like, of their type of beats in ten yeah. minutes. That was a little weird. So, oh look at that, that's crazy, isn't it? I didn't even, Damn, I didn't, I didn't even see that before, but yeah, Damn, definitely. I sure didn't. That's dope, though. I sure didn't. Yeah. All right. Well. uh Still got a couple of minutes here. Do you got a couple of minutes? Oh, we're good. I want to keep okay. going. Right. Good. Right. I want to keep going. Okay. You keep going. Cool. So, I, uh, so I, here's here's a question I have. You guys have uh, obviously a very storied uh, past, right? Like, mm-hmm. and, and we'd be here for fucking days if we tried to get into every single yeah. thing that you guys have ever done. And I'm sure there's tons. Yeah. What's a time that maybe uh, you felt you weren't going to make it out of? <laughs> Mm. <coughs> there's a couple. Dang. There's a couple. Yeah, there's there might be more than a couple. Do we ha- yeah. Mm. I'm trying to figure out. I ain't gonna out. lie. Uh we could start with October fourth. Yeah. <laughs> there you eight. go. October fourth. So this your turn. 
Oh, uh, you want me to tell a story? <laughs> yeah, you tell us. All right. So I'm at the it. time, October fourth, um, we it was me, Yikes, my business partner, and a couple of women that we were chilling with that night. We decided that we wanted to go out to party and just chill for the night because we work so damn hard all the time. So we were struggling to keep the business afloat at the time. So I had like extra people living with us in that business to help pay the bills. Sure. So what happened was, is, you know, long story short, people couldn't hold up their rent at the little, the little bit that they had to pay. So they had to leave, blah, blah, blah. Got a little weird. So when we left, um, we went all the way to Dover. Where, did we, where was Dover. it? Bub, Bubba's? Uh, was it called I think Bubba's it was Bubba's. Like we, were in down, we were in Dover. Yeah, we went to some club in Dover. But yeah, Bubba's before we left. It was probably Bubba's. I think it's Bubba's. It was either Bubba's yeah. or it's another spot. Yeah, it was Bubba's. Bubba's it was Bubba's. Bubba's. all Dover had <laughs> for a long time. Yeah. Bubba's. So <laughs> we went to Bubba's and uh, the roommate that I used to have in there called me. And he was asking me, you know, weird questions. And he just sounded weird on the phone. But I didn't think nothing of it because I was too busy focused on partying with these girls. So we went out <clears throat> and we had a great time. Like we had such a great time. And then when we got back, Everything in our studio was gone, bro. Oh, shit. Everything. Mm -hmm. Like, we lost our camera equipment. I had brand new. I had two Avalon VTV 737s that were gone. I had yeah. compressors that, like, $2,000 compressors that, that were hurt. gone. We, like, lost, like, $20,000 that night of equipment. That's fucking unreal, man. Yep. And Back to square one. Yeah. And I was hurt. I ain't gonna lie. I was hurt. I felt like. All that money that, because I, I was saving up since the ninth grade for that stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, bro, I don't do no bad business with anybody. So why would you want to come into my establishment and steal from me? And I'm treating you fair. And I do more than enough to help. Why would you want to do something like that to to me? At least that's how I felt at the, at the time, you know? And, uh. Long story short, we found out who it was. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to lie. I didn't know how I was going to get out of that situation. But luckily, luckily, because we were so good to people, people, you know, we made a post about it on Facebook, and it blew up. Yeah, that, that thing And when it like blew up, far. people just started randomly the donating equipment to us. No shit. Mm -hmm. And there's one random guy that I never recorded or did any business with. He just happened to just watch us. He gave us like two speakers, a mixing board, and a computer. So we was right up and running literally like a month later. And it was just a blessing, man. But see, it's things like that. Fuck off, man. It's Fuck things off. like that that make you go, I really am supposed to be doing this yeah. shit. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. This is really what we're supposed to be doing cuz we didn't have to lift a finger, bro. All we all we did was make a post and we treated people good. And that just lets me know that the work that we put in is important because it helps people. Yeah. In so many ways. You know, people struggle every day going through the things that they go through in daily life and then they come here and they get to be their self. They get to be heard. They get to vent out. It's deeper than just music, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's deeper than music. Definitely deeper than music. Definitely. Yeah. Man. That was crazy. So, so yeah. I, just as a guy that hosts a show, I have to ask, like, what did you do to the people when you found out? Who I was? didn't have to do anything, bro. We had to do nothing. Nah, I just have to ask. I've, the universe took care yeah. of it for us. I have to ask. Sorry. You want to know what happened? <laughs> nah. No, 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 no. No, nah, we can tell them. I mean, we can. You shouldn't, though. We no, we're going to tell No, we're going to we're going to be transparent. Look. Go ahead. You tell them what happened. So um, where are they buried? I, 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 I don't I don't know where where they're buried, but yeah, I don't know where, where he's buried. The they're, they're 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 buried, though. Yeah, he's, and he's, it's oh, from shit. their own doing, though. Yep. We didn't have to do anything. Nah, it's from self Self-inflation. Self-destruction. Self-destruction. 
Self destruction. So you, you know, know what? Listen, and I hate to be a negative guy, but that's a fu- that's scumbag shit, man. That's uh, yeah. somebody that knows the, you know the work and the effort that you put into this. And they yeah. were trying to hurt you, man. They were mm-hmm. trying to hurt you. Mm-hmm. So on one hand, it's like, man, you don't want to see anybody. No, nah. you know. But nah. on the other, it's like, of course, course is, this is the way this thing ended. And you know? the thing is, is we tried ended. to help him. Really? Yeah, that, he that's help. the that's that's the, the part that hurt me yeah. more than anything, bro. Like. You didn't have shit, bro. And we took you in. You didn't have shit. Yep. And we gave you a small, small responsibility to handle, like, as a man. You feel me? Yeah. Anybody could have done that. I was doing stuff like that when I was a fucking teenager. $200 a month, bro? Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, bro. So people are it, it, people are wired <laughs> differently, I guess, man. Yeah. You know, it's not everybody's cut from the same cloth. Yeah. So it's, it's a shame that that happened. To Some people aren't even cut. That's how I look at it. He was jealous. He was jealous about it. Yeah. Because I was pushing Jay Levita at the time. We were working on Jay Levita's music. Yeah, shout out to Jay. Shout out to Jay. That's going to be my brother forever. Yep. So you guys have had a lot of success together. Yeah. Right. But there's yeah. also, I'm sure there's been some some failures, right? Yeah. You guys have had some things that. We have the best arguments also. <laughs> <laughs> what do yeah. you guys argue about? Food. Like what sets you guys off? Food and uh, respect and the heat in the air. The heat, yeah. We definitely um, argued about the heat before. Like the temperature? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We've never argued about money in 10 years. No. Not even a dollar. No. That's good. Like, That's I can't important. name. Oh, no. oh, being held accountable. We've yeah. argued about that a lot. We'll argue about everything else other than money or like, it's, it's, I find that amazing and funny at the same time. Like, I'm, like I'm really going to argue with him about this last piece of chicken, before. Oh yeah, or I'm, yeah, or trying to say for the first time. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo. That was bad. That was a bad argument, bro. Yeah, I had. Yeah. Like, At what point does it mad. become like too far for like the topic? You know, you guys are fighting over the fucking the best. Have you guys broken like split apart? No. Never. No. That's special too, though. We 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 stopped talking for a long time, yeah. but we have never. That's my bro. Yeah, we never what, like split. What I always tell people is, um, I think I've told Pedro this before. I know Corey knows, but I always tell people like, me and me and PC's friendship is really more than music. Like it's we like yeah. we don't we don't talk about music that much. As people would think we do, well, because it's work for you guys, right? I mean, it's it like, it it is, but it, it isn't. is, but it isn't. Yeah. You know, because like um, like we just did a project. It it didn't feel like work. We did it in what a week. Mm-hmm. I did a breakup album because I was going through some things. Yes. You know, <laughs> I, I, I did a got gotcha. you. I did a breakup album because you know. But long story short, just um, when it comes to music, um. It's just like talking. Like the way we work is just so, I don't know how it's weird. I love working with Yikes because I get to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Yeah. And I love that. Like, because it's a lot of ideas that I might want to do. Like, I just might want to display stuff a certain way and he'll just be like, do what you want. Yeah. Like that full trust. Yeah. It's the same way with the video. Like, I trust you, bro. Do do you? I look at it also like what he just said. When you order your food, you're not watching the chef make it, right? True, you're not. Right. You're not over his shoulder. Like, no. nah, you didn't. Yeah. you didn't flip that burger Some at the people. right time. You yeah. you need to. Right, you're not doing that. So it's the same principle, and I can't get, I can't get the maximum. You know, the maximization of his. You know what he's trying to do. If I'm interfering with it, so I always look at it like that. But mm-hmm. yeah, man, me and PC, this this is a. I always say if we if we stop doing music tomorrow, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, like at all, like at all. But you, because you guys would just fall into something else, right? I mean, it would be. It's my bro. It's just yeah. it's, it's like when people people look at PC and I differently. Like I don't see him the way everybody. I can't like <laughs> like there's people he when he when he was in the bahamas remember the guy wanted a picture oh yeah yeah, yeah he yeah, went yeah. to the bahamas somebody wanted a picture with him like when people yo that's pc beats and i'm looking like yo they hype over him <laughs> like like what? 
This, but this, that was crazy because I'm it, like, whoa, I'm out of the country. Yeah, right that now. that's dope. But it's like if we're around people, it's the same thing. Like, so, yo, you know who Yikes Lee is? He gonna look at him like, yeah. same with them. Yeah, Pedro and Corey. It's the same. This is like, yo, you know PC Beats? Yeah. It's my bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah, man. So you get to see behind the, it's the what, Wizard of What I will say thing. is I appreciate PC again <laughs> like for that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Oh, but I was gonna say I appreciate just um, all the uh, good and bad times have made us better people mm-hmm. in general, outside of music. You know me saying? and me and Yikes have uh, been so broke that we literally split a dollar burger together. Yeah. That's, that's how I knew we were friends. Dang, that's real. real. That's how I know you guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I know. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's it, and and like you look back on it fucking fondly, you yeah. know, like yeah, we did that. Damn, we came we from did that. do that. Jesus Christ, we was, we was literally sleeping in our cars. Yeah, and it was me, Ty, and him, and we were sitting in McDonald's parking lot, scrounging up change so we could eat that night. Yeah, that's that's real. Everybody not really built for that, bro. No. Dude. That like nobody is. And thank you guys for for chatting with me. You, obviously, you got to start your own podcast, right? Yeah. I mean, you guys have a ton of stories, and I wish we could dive into everything. Yeah, together uh, here tonight, but there's just not enough time. Yeah, you know. So, uh, I want to thank you uh, for letting me set up and, and thank do you, bro. This here I appreciate tonight. you and coming through and doing this. Absolutely, man. and. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I'll say this from my end. If you guys have anything to promote, you can do that. I, I um, am streaming on Twitch, so if you're listening to the podcast here, you can check out the Crash and Burn show on Twitch. Um, streaming every night. So uh, if that type of shit interests you, stop on by and give us a follow. Do well, you guys have anything you want to promote or talk about? Or I, I, I'm, I'm going to let him go first. And then I'm You go. go first. All right. What? what? Oh, you, you want me to promote you? Okay, so first, oh, yeah, first sure. look, because cause we have we have Corey here. So if we're going to promote Corey. So Corey has a project coming out eventually. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Pedro, you have a project coming out. You know what I'm saying? What? It's already out? Pedro's project's already out? Your project. Oh, I thought you was working on New John. What project? Okay, we're going to put all them links in there. That's number two, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, but, um, I think, uh, he has, his, he has a project coming out. He is in PC. PC. Cause he can sing his butt off. I'm an this artist. Guy? I'm an artist too. Oh yeah. You didn't even hear, you know what I'm saying? So after the interview, if you got, you don't even know years, I could sing. If you got time after the interview, you definitely go hear some tracks. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but he has a project coming out. Corey has a project. Pedro has a project. And after six long years, I am finally putting out another project. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. So, See, you got over that. Well, we just don't know. Um, it's my fault. I don't know what I want to do. That's all. So it's, it's not his. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> you know, the beats. problem is, is that I will make a project with him so fast that he thinks that it's like quick. Now he's thinking about another project. Yeah, because it's like, bro, we didn't even put out the first one yet. Yeah, because uh, pe- <laughs> what 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 people want, and I would say this, and he knows this, but what people have been asking for is the retro part two, which is the project, the first one that got us really known. Yeah, and it would be pro, it would be dope because it's ten years later. Cause we put that out. Actually, we put that out on his birthday. We did. We did. We dropped that project on his birthday. And um, which is what? Let me guess. October? Nope. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, the, it's this. It's this <laughs> month. It's, it's, is it really? Is this in March? March twentieth. Close. Ooh, you're very close. Yeah, very 17th. close. Seven. Very close. Yo. <laughs> Super hot. Sixteenth. The other way. He's A little colder. Right? Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah. March eighteenth. Damn. His his birthday is the day after the mother of my child. Oh, look I didn't want to say I didn't want to say baby mom. Yeah, it's, it just, it's so negative trash. to say. Yeah, my baby trash. mom. Yeah, so no, nah. it's trash. So uh, where are we at with that? Are you are you are we gonna put out a second part or? We are. We're just it, it has to be right. 
that the the retro process is not normal. Like it's a very you know, and again, that takes a lot of work for both sides. And yeah. um, it's like not you're telling just a long, a long beat. story, right? I mean, it's a, something. That it sounds like a movie. Yeah, yeah, I it's, believe that. It yeah. sounds like a full blown. Oh, we just wait. We were just on this song. How do we get the song six so fast? Like you know what I mean? It's, it's I like radio. I'm a radio guy. Yeah, it's theater so. of the mind. You know, mm-hmm. I, I which just, is a great ludicrous album, by the way. So, is that yeah. the name of it? Yeah, yeah. theater of the mind. It's actually a ludicrous album. Mm-hmm. Is it? Right. Yeah. So. But that's all, man. And and again, you know, just grateful to see, um, really grateful to see him, you know, get his awards. You know what I'm saying? To uh, to be around all these years and to see it, you know, it's it's, it's definitely what he deserves. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that. Of course, you know what I'm saying. So shout out to everybody because I'm gonna forget and they're gonna be mad at me. So that's all right. There's shout out be- to whoever watches and knows me. <laughs> Cause it's not fair. I can't say her name. It's, it's oh, so you like okay? This is what I don't understand. I've never worked with anybody outside of like, you know, my my group mm-hmm. that I would if I ever won an award, I'd have to thank. You know, mm, like it's right. a lot of like, haha, fuck you, I made it type <laughs> shit. When I get it, you know, when I, I get my you. platinum award, it's yeah. gonna be a lot of kiss my ass. Mm. Well, but you, you guys have people that like helped you well, all the success that you have. I mean. Right, I mean, there's the mm. certain people. Everybody way, you've ever met, in a way, in a way, yeah. uh, I'll say our core team members that have been here, like Jamil's for sure, Shayna Veasley for sure. I know that name. Um, and then there's still people that help, but you know, they're not. They're not. As close or known, you know, working with us as exclusively, but they have helped us a lot right, the way. Right, right. There, there's like, a lot of people. Like clients and people that we've yeah. done business with that helped us keep the lights on and stuff like that. So yeah. we appreciate everybody Shout out that Mont, comes to record. Man. Shout out to Mont. Even Naeem. Naeem. Yep. Fettyville. Uh, yeah, Fettyville. Shout out to the whole squad, uh, Fettyville camp. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Have... Yeah, shout I mean, out to y'all, man. There's been a lot of a lot of different situations along the way. I mean, well, so. listen, I'm excited for you guys to start your own podcast. You yeah. know, I think it's fun. You guys have a lot of stories to tell. And yeah, there's a yeah, lot of, we, with a lot of different people. You know, yes, we, we have so to crack the surface. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest. The stories are uh, that's a whole another uh, that's a whole another episode. There yeah, you go. yeah, there you go. Sheesh. I got to get out of here. I got to I got to wrap this thing up. Yeah. Okay, uh, no problem. Time space wise, but. I thank you for sitting down with me. Absolutely, man. Pedro. Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, it was fun talking to you guys. Um, I hope we can sit down, you know, at a later time. Yeah. Maybe yeah. have another conversation. You Absolutely. Know? We can definitely do that. Cool. The next time you go platinum. Yeah. You know? That'll be soon, though. I'm trying to win the best of every state in the in the country. I'm so I'm listening. <laughs> Maryland's next on my list. So we'll, we'll rack up some accolades and then right. do this again. I got a billboard award coming. Fuck off. A number one. So that's amazing. Yeah, bro. It's crazy. I can't believe we talked for an hour and that didn't come out. <laughs> All right. Exactly. It's a crash and burn show. Let me wrap this up. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys. We'll, we'll put right. links to social media yeah. stuff and the podcast and for Alrighty. the video and all that stuff.